Good morning! Oh, hold on. Dad needs to talk. Tracker won't start. Anyway. We're getting started here another day of harvest. Uh, we got to get the grain cart empty from last night and then get some stuff moved. Phil's going to bring a pickup up. we got to move the combine. we got it's just a lot of moving this morning. Dad's going to chisel, rip, whatever. Run the disc ripper for a while until we need his help. Shelling corn later. Let's go. Do our morning oil checks. Hydraulic oil level looks good. Engine oil. Looks good. Every now and then somebody remembers that we were burning some oil in this combine after we first got it and I was a little concerned about it. it seems to be better. Um, we've added oil twice this fall, but that's not real concerning. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Made it to our next field and we've got enough room to get a grain cart off the road. Phil's here to pick me up. We're going to go get it. Okay, um, so we got grain cart over here and uh, I got these ends opened up. These fields here, they're they're decent farms. They have pretty good soil types on them. There's some sand on the other side that might not be great, but down over here at least it's pretty decent. Could use some tile. However, there is no good entryway. There's no way to get trucks in and out of these fields. It's a real pain in the butt from that standpoint. The road sits way high, so there's not a good driveway. Um, and essentially we have to use the house lot driveway, but the wires are too low to get the equipment in and out of there. Uh, so the best place to unload is on the other side of the house up over there. Uh, we can get the trucks in through there, but we can't get the equipment over there. So we have to pull in, in this corner, harvest along here, and then we jump across into this field and harvest around this house lot and do these ends so we can park the trucks here and go out through the house driveway to the road. So we kind of got to switch fields here now. Well, we got the truck moved over here and opened up these other end rows, like I said. Uh, where'd we go? There we go. Um, we'll let him empty that because all of that is from the other field, which is, we try and keep them separate. It's not super critical, but we try and keep them separate. Uh, so he'll get that empty, and then we can unload what we got in the combine, which is full, full. And uh, we'll just keep going here. He'll probably have a full truckload, so I imagine he'll leave and take that back. And at some point, I'll probably need to go and get the other truck over here. These are some of our farther away from the farm fields, uh, seven, eight miles, so going to take a little while to haul it and uh, he's not going to be able to keep up even with me just dumping into the cart on the end of the field. He's probably not going to keep up, but that's okay. If we can get 60 acres done today, we had a good day and that's as much as we really need to do to be able to finish it tomorrow or probably don't even need to do that much, but that's my goal. So there's about 28 or 30 between these two little fields here and then the other 60, 65 is down the road. Um, hopefully we'll get down there and at least get it opened up this afternoon. Every now and then the sun lines up just right and it makes me appreciate the uh, Unreferth uh, marketing team because that's awesome right there. <laughs> okay, uh, we're moving through here. It's a little slower going when you got to stop and unload the green card all the time and just it is what it is. Plus these fields are odd shaped, not real efficient. We're getting done. There's some good corn out here once you get off the end rows. I don't know. We should make 200 average by the time we get all this done. But there are some places in this field that are just terrible. Um, there are some pretty deep ruts in spots. I think it was a little wet when we planted this one. Uh, but it was towards the end of the planting season anyway. So the red, obviously the end rows are no good. There's a big spot over there that's in that corner that was no good. I don't know. That's not bad. So... Bill's here, get another truck. Just takes a little longer when you're by yourself, but we got almost 15 acres done in this field. Finish this one up, jump over there. Yeah. St corn is standing really well. This is good right here. 230, 228. I ah, will take that. That's awesome. 
it says it's 15%. I don't know what Phil's been getting at the, at the green shed, if he's putting it straight in the bin or if it's going through the dryer. I feel the average is 17 or 18, so I'd imagine it's not quite dry enough to just put right in the bin. See how nice and tall this corn is? And then right here on the end, nothing. That's deer damage. That's the deer coming in here, eating the tops out of it uh, back in June, July when it was still growing. Sometimes they still put an ear on even if the tassel is gone, but it gets a lot of disease in it. And it's just not very good corn. That's what all the red on the ends was back here too. Crane cart's full again. Dad came down after he got done eating lunch and uh, he's gonna run combine. We were gonna need him to help us move and to run on the next field anyway, because we gotta run the cart down there. So he can take over now. We don't have very much to do here. Hi, neighbor. Ah, this isn't a bad spot to be either in this seat over here. Just a couple rounds left and then we'll have this stuff done. We'll move down the road. Last pass of the field here. Good deal. Right there. That's where we're going. Only field we've got that's on uh, US 127. Kind of just sitting here out of the way while there's nobody behind me. So we got, yeah, out of the way. Okay, well, this is what we've got left over here. So basically there's there's two fields again, but it goes from here to those trees. 65-ish um, acres total. I don't even know what's in this particular portion of it. We got this field that goes this way, and then there's another field up here that goes this way. Anyway, there's a big well hole right here. We have buried equipment in this before. I think we'll be okay this time, though. I don't think I'm at risk of getting stuck. Yeah, it's pretty dry. There are still ruts here from about five or six years ago. Oh, at least that long ago when we buried the 9R in a field cultivator out here. Yeah, that was a fun day. Anyway, um, we gotta help. Get, get, yeah, we gotta do endros in the back, get this field opened up. We're just gonna stay here and run a grain car. I might do a live stream because I don't know. Do I have good enough service for a live stream here? Yeah, yeah, we should. All right, well, we are moving right along here. I just got off of an hour and a half long live stream, so thank you to all of those of you that tuned in for a little bit, asked questions. I enjoy doing those, they're lots of fun, so I'll try and do one again next week sometime. But uh, yeah, we're, uh, know, we're getting across here. My goal for the day was to finish these long rows, which they don't go that much farther. You can see here, there's a lane kind of separates the two fields here. And uh, if we got those done for today, I would feel like, okay, we got enough. We can finish the rest of this tomorrow. We don't have to work real hard, but um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, we'll see where everybody else is at. It is 6 o'clock now. It would not hurt my feelings at all to uh, fill about two more trucks and quit for the night and just say, we'll get it tomorrow, but I don't know. We'll see. There is, I don't know. If we could finish this a little bit in the back here and get this field done, that wouldn't be the worst thing either. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm tired. I kind of could use a break from harvesting for a while, so. But I know better. I know that if you take a break now and you don't push it as hard as you can, then um, when the weather turns later, you're going to regret it. We've done that before. I don't want to regret it. What's, uh, what's going on here? That's interesting. I guess it'll be fine. I don't think he has even eight rows left over there between here and the lane, so I'm, I'm not sure why, but whatever. It's fine. All right, well, here's where we're at. We've caught the trucks, and uh, there's a full one there. Phil should be back fairly soon with an empty, but uh, it is 6.30. This green card is almost full. Eh, I shouldn't say that. We're two-thirds full. 40,000 on there. So we've got just this little bit in the back here, but I think we're going to fill the green card up so that when Phil does get here with the truck, we can have a full one and uh, then we're going to call it a night. So there's less than, eh, there's about 30 acres left to do over here. Be an easy day to do tomorrow. All we have to do is get done with this tomorrow and get the equipment moved home because Monday morning uh, we're going to do the corn plot. And so um, I'm trying to get everything around so that we're there 
for that. That's kind of the, the goal and the idea, just to be back closer to home because we're, we're every bit of 8 to 10 miles away from home right now, so we'd like to get this done and not be stuck down here when I want to do the plot Monday morning. Good enough! 53,000, it's not packed full, but it's fine. So we need fuel in the combine too to finish down here. So, cool. Quarter seven, Saturday night. Let's everybody just take a little break here. We've had one heck of a week and a good run, got a lot done. We'll go fill that truck up, take it back to the farm. We'll go watch my Sparties play on TV tonight and get my kids from mom, because we just kind of dumped them on her today since my wife is uh, heading to Columbus for her half marathon that she's doing tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah, we'll go. go get them and go home. All right, let's get out of here. Good deal. Oh, we forgot to wrap this one up. Check out those awesome pumpkins. Anyway, thanks for watching today, guys. Have a great night. If you uh, have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I will uh, do my best to answer them. I'm probably going to make a video tomorrow, but um, my boys have their uh, flag football playoffs tomorrow, and so I've got to get them to that. Uh, first game's at noon. If they win, they play again at 1. So it'll be middle of the afternoon probably before I get back here. Hopefully Dad and Phil get working on that uh, rest of that corn over there, and they should be pretty close to finishing it up really by the time I get back here. So we'll see uh, if I am helping them with some stuff and we got to get the equipment moved. Maybe we'll film that. I got a little work to do around my yard I would like to get done tomorrow if possible. Uh, it's supposed to be a really nice day again tomorrow and warm and I'm trying to get some weeds killed so we got to get it sprayed and I would like to move some more dirt and catch up on some things I haven't had time to do. So we might work on that tomorrow if we get a chance, but we'll see. And then Monday, uh, plot day. And uh, if you caught the end of my live stream, was it in the live stream? I think it was in the live stream. I, uh, I said that um, Tuesday, uh, well, you're going to want to watch Wednesday's video. We got some fun stuff happening this week on Tuesday that I think is going to be really cool. So anyway, we'll leave you with that teaser for the night. Have a great night. Go Sparties. They're up right now. Let's finish it. Have a great night.